This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. This program prints the numbers 0 to 9 to the console. All right, let's test it out. Remember, this is the debug console down here. Run. I'm not seeing it. Oh, so this is the speed the thing's running. Oh, let's watch this loop. I'm going to slow this down. This is a wall or a while. My students tell me all the time I say it wrong. A wall loop, a while loop, and it's going to loop as long as the counter is less than 10. So counter will start at zero. And then, yep, counter is equal to zero. It hits this loop and says, okay, zero is less than 10. Log counter, yep, it's zero. Add one to counter. So now counter would equal one. Hits the loop again, yep, one's less than 10. Put one on the console. Up, oh, add one to counter. Okay, counter is now equal to two. Two's less than 10. Output two. Add one to counter. So counter is now three. Three's less than 10. And so on. Boom. All right. Edit the program to print the numbers 0 to 99. You can turn the speed up. Yeah, I would I would do so. Okay, if you wanted to present 0 to 99, well, if with it at 10, what's it go to? Well, it goes to 9. Because once counter is equal to 9, it hits the bottom, goes back up here. Or once counter, counter gets equal to 10 here. So it prints out, counter's 9. It says, okay, 9, and puts it on the console. And then it says, okay, 9 plus 1 is 10. So counter's now 10. It goes back up here and says, okay, is 10 less than 10? Nope, that is false. So it doesn't run the code inside and keeps going. So it never prints out the 10 because 10 is not less than 10. So if you want to print to 99, let's make that 100. Boom. Awesome. Notice over here it says counter is equal to 100, but we only got printed through 99 because it hit the bottom, says 100 is not less than 100 and keeps going. It never prints that 100. All right, onward.